Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to a special episode of the Format Podcast Live. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And um, I know it's Friday night and uh, normally we do our lives on Wednesday and Saturdays. But as I told you, um, sometimes we're going to go live at different times to do different things. And tonight is one of those nights. As you can see, G's not here, but we got another special guest. We got our main man, Q. Host of the Opinion Stated Podcast. What's good, Q? What's good? What's good, fellas? Glad to be here, man. Let's go. All right, all right. And tonight, what we're going to do, y'all, I'm sure you've uh, seen from the from the thumbnail already, if you've clicked on it, and as well, you see from the rundown, what we are going to do is, with the NBA season starting on Tuesday night, we are going to do a 2024-25 NBA season preview, the format podcast style. But before we get into that, We'll go ahead, take a couple minutes, um, see if anybody's, uh, see if some more people, <clears throat> excuse me, are going to uh, pop up in the chat, and then we'll go ahead and go from there. Um, yeah, man. So uh, it's good to have you, Q, man. <laughs> no, so um, uh, a couple of a couple of sleepers that we got here. The first two that came to mind for me were uh, the Rockets and the Magic, and then I guess two more probably be uh, the Spurs and the Kings. I think, oh, funny, three out of four sleepers in the West. But anyway, um, I think the East is more clearly defined in terms of who's going to uh, make those top eight seeds. But I yeah. think the West, obviously, we know is, is kind of weird with that. A lot more yeah, parity. I, I definitely think, um, right, I, a lot more parity. I think the Rockets, I think they ended up number 11, so they just missed the play-in. Emil Doka has those guys really competing. Um, in the East, the Magic, um, Pablo Bancaro, man, he's – um. I think that kid is for real. That's a, that's that's oh. a really good young cat. Um, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah, Bruce. Um, I don't. I wouldn't call the Thunder a sleeper because I think we all had them in uh, in the top four seeds in the West. I wouldn't call them a sleeper. Um, let's see. Um, so the Rockets, the Magic, uh, the Kings. I don't, I don't know where they land, man. I think I think they land towards the bottom, but. Um, I think it was Bruce said earlier, Mike Brown is a really underrated coach. I think those guys get into the tournament. They can they can mess around and upset somebody if the matchup is right. Um, Sabonis is really good. Sabonis is like Jokic light, right? He's really – but he can't shoot nearly as well. But he's like Jokic light in terms of a European big who can run the point, really pass the ball, rebound well, et cetera. Um, so you got that. Um, the addition of DeMar DeRozan, very talented mid-range scorer and – You've got a really good uh, point guard, De'Aaron Fox, and uh, what's what's the other guy's name came with him from Kentucky? Uh, his Sabonis. Partner. Oh no, no, not no, Sabonis. no, 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 not Sabonis. Um, the other guard uh, is De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, can't oh, remember. But 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 the point is, um, I think they're well coached. They have a good roster. They play at a high pace. They can score the basketball. Um, I think that's a really good team, uh, Sacramento. And then, of course, um, uh, that's it, the Spurs. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if Chris Paul stays there, but with the continue, right? <laughs> the continued development of Wembenyama, the leadership. Ooh, ooh great. Guy, right? God damn. Right, right. I, now, I don't Did he like turn it. around with it? It was like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, get that out of me. there. Ooh, right. boy. Mm. That's move. That's cool right. work. Boom. That's, that's, that's you in the you in the gym with that one. Now, now, how crazy you in the is gym. it? I'm I'm gonna say something here. This dude is seven four. Got one dribble step back pull up. LeBron been in the league twenty years and don't have that in his arsenal. Whoop. Come on, man. That's what that's what we talk about when it, people say physics, we hate man. LeBron. Physics, bro. But that but that's just they the point. Matter. It's Whoop. seven four. You're not supposed to be able to do that like that. That's no. exactly the point. I don't, yeah, I don't you can wanna, shoot no, over the top of guys. I don't want to go personal but. fitness, but you, what buff guy do you uh -huh. see as big as LeBron uh -huh. have a jumper? Carl Malone. A jumper. Carl Malone. Jump. Like, go, Carl not Malone. today. Not, 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 not in today's game. Not, not in today's game. Jumper. Was, no, no, no. He wasn't pull shooting. Up. Dribble, 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 pull up. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Matter of fact, I had that. I'll, I'll send you the B-roll after after we get off the – I had that in um last time we were talking about Carl Malone. I'm talking about dribble, oh, pull up, step back, gotcha. Yes, Carl Malone was deadly in the mid-range. A lot of people forgot that. But, um, but yeah, so so the point is I just thought it was interesting that Wemby had that, you know, year two at 7'4", and 
you know, another guy who's this, that, and the but, third. Was but a anyway. shooter already before he got into the league. But go ahead, proceed. Yeah, already a pro. You, you, he was already shooting. You missed, you're missing the point. But anyway. I'm not. I'm, I, what point am I missing, bro? <laughs> you miss, the you lanky miss. arms, you're a better mm -hmm. shooter. Buff guys, we're not good shooters. We can't, like it's 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 a tougher mechanism because we're so strong, like we're physically strong, right? If you look at LeBron's size on mm -hmm. how how he used to pull up in his jump shot, mm -hmm. the mechanics were bad. He was just so, so how, strong. So how was Oak a very good mid range shooter? I know Oak. I know we're digressing here. Charles Oakley, very good mid range shooter. Oak. I know we're digressing, but he was. Mid range well, shooter but was. We did not include Larry let's Johnson. Let's, was let's include the three Oak, point Oak line here, guys. Very, LJ had very. Well, Oakley, just, Larry Johnson. Like, so let's include the three-point line guys, because other than that, LeBron is very efficient inside the three-point line. Is he not? Look at the numbers. Zero pretty, to pretty three solid from the rim. Yes, zero to three. Pretty feet. solid look, inside look of thir inside of twenty-five. No, zero to three. Look up the numbers. You said well, okay. It. Those up. are just his best numbers. I mean, what yeah, I saw over doubt. But yeah, his numbers are his numbers are good. No, they're in not. The mid -range. It's terrible it's in the mid-range. It's not like he's awful. No, You're including the three-point range. No, I'm including the mid-range. They they break it all up in basketball reference. Go check. But anyway, this is not a LeBron thing. The, yeah, the point obviously, y'all don't know physics. What you mean? I, I've been obviously you don't understand. Listen, physics. I'm not I'm not gonna argue with you when it comes to body composition and how it affects things. That's your lane. I respect that. <laughs> that said, I watch Carl Malone, diesel. Mid range jumper. I watched David Robinson, diesel, mid range jumper. I watched Larry Johnson, diesel, mid range jumper. Charles Oakley, diesel, mid range jumper. Alonzo Mourning, diesel, mid range jumper. All these dudes, I watched them do it for years. So I'm just saying, I'm not arguing with you on what you're saying. I'm just saying, I saw all this with my own eyes, and you can go back and check yourself. But anyway, um, yeah, no, uh, proceed. So, yeah, where were we? <laughs> My bad. I got totally distracted. But, yeah, so. You were um, like, damn it, they're doing it. Hey, they're doing no, it. I, they're doing no, it. They're doing it. No, no, I, I know, right? I think that um the Spurs are definitely a sleeper. First, I had them out of bounds. But when I went back and really thought about it and kind of reassessed, um, they got a veteran point guard who knows everything there is to know about the point guard position and can help um uh, Wemby continue to develop. And he's got a young guy behind him in uh, pause in Dalton Castle who is uh, not Dalton Castle, Dalton, um, Stefan Castle, sorry, <laughs> Stefan Castle from UConn. He, he's really good. I think he was their first round pick at, at point guard and um, he's going to be special. He can learn from uh, CP3 and he can, you know, he can defend as well because if you don't defend, you're not going to play at UConn, especially not for Dan Hurley, right? But um, that's a team I think that really uh, has some things and obviously Pop is one of the best coaches of all time probably one of the best five to eight coaches ever. Um, so he, I think, is going to help continue to, to develop this thing. So that's a sleeper team. Uh, how far the jump is from last year to now, not sure, but I think that's a sleeper team. So um, yeah. Sacramento for me, uh, Sacramento, Spurs, Magic, and the Rockets, my sleeper teams. Uh, who's next? Opinion? Q? Yeah, yeah, I, I I would agree. In the Western Conference, the only sleeper that I'm that I'm really high on, and um, that I want to keep my eye on, will be that Ime Udoka coach, young young team in Houston, um, with young Jalen Green and, and those boys. They, I think they they could be that very shock and surprise sleeper team that comes up, man, and kind of blows everybody's mind this year. You know what I mean? Just because of the fact that they have such a, a young core and they're well coached. You know what I mean? So they're, they're, they're the team that I would definitely keep an eye on in the West. Sleeper for me, East East Coast, my Eastern Conference sleeper would be Toronto. You know what I mean? Toronto's my dark horse sleeper, man. I'm, I love Scotty Barnes. I just, I just think that Scotty Barnes' progression has been, has been, uh, has been very measurable. And uh, so I look forward to seeing what they can do, you know, throughout the season from a team standpoint. But I think mm -hmm. Toronto could be another one of those teams that we just look up and say, damn, yo, shocking, surprisingly. They're in here. Two sleepers from the East. My other that I'm not really high on <clears throat> because I'm just never high on them, and that would be the Atlanta Hawks. You know what I mean? So I, I don't mm -hmm. know what they will actually do um, this season, but they always seem to be there. You know what I mean? Like kind of in the mix fighting for it toward the end. So they could very well be that sleeper team, man. I don't know who they bump out outside of the, those that I'm, you know, thinking might squeak in. 
other than like a Chicago at the bottom, you know what I mean? Or, um, or like a Miami, if, uh, they, they, they somehow take a, a giant step back this year because Jimmy starts to incur a bunch more of the soft tissue injuries and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But that remains to be seen too. So I'm thinking Atlanta, Toronto, Eastern conference. I'm really, really curious to see what Houston does. So I think that Houston can make some noise for as far as your, your San Antonio pick. I think that it's still a season or two away, I mean, that's just by virtue of age. I don't, they don't, they have a great coach. They have, you know, the great Chris Paul there to help facilitate for them. But I think mm -hmm. that's important get these young kids up to speed so that he can eventually step back and just let them kind of do their thing. So I look San Antonio, obviously we stuck around through next season. You guys will see, they'll be, I'll be high on them for next season. If they do something miraculous this season. And I'll be the first to come on here and be like, man, I was wrong about San Antonio, you know, but I think they're, mm -hmm. they're you know what I mean? In my opinion. All right. Transforming your sleepers. Uh, man, that Wimby being Chris Paul, boy, that, that looked good right there, man. That yeah. pick and roll, man. The yeah. pick and pop. Like when, whenever you give um, uh, Chris Paul a good weapon like that, a hot, tall, long weapon like that, the man becomes a problem as a point mm -hmm. guard. Pop, like one of the best point guards to ever play in a game. He doesn't need a championship to prove that. I'm tired of him. You know, need like the conversation him needing the championship to be in that top that upper echelon the man is an mm. upper echelon of point guards in the nba yeah. history if you look at the game of basketball right that, that's him mm -hmm. i think this is going to be a big boost for when um that he has somebody like a chris paul to kind of like mentor him a little bit give him much much easier looks as you guys can see from the mm -hmm. b-roll that you were showing that those yeah. looks, I mean, the boy was wide open. He's like, oh, y'all forgetting mm -hmm. I could shoot threes? Chris Paul knows where I'm at at all times. I'm the biggest guy right. in the building. Right. The biggest guy in the building. So guess what? Chris Paul is definitely going to find me. So I I, I do like um, the Spurs, my sleeper. I agree with Houston. Houston is an up-and-comer. Um, the coach, I mean, what's not, what's not like about the coach except him doing things with front office personnel, right? Other than that, you, like that's a mean great you, you mean doing consensual things with other adults, but of course, because he's a man, he wants to, they want to blame him for it. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. I mean, the fact that she was married kind of, eh, you know. Uh, okay, I'm not yeah, saying that was cool, but, somebody else's he, marriage, but, but she you know. certainly, that had to, come it's, on, man, that had to go both ways, man. Let's, let's not no, do it's that. It's adultery either I'm way. Not, I'm just I'm saying. Listen, I'm not advocating it. I'm not anything, advocating yeah. it, but I mean, since it came out, that whole situation has irritated the hell out of me because yeah. it's, it's well known that it was two consenting adults. Interestingly enough, we didn't hear her name, but we heard him get smeared. No, I agree on that. And then I we, agree we on saw that. him get fired. Come on, man. Nah, I, I, I agree on that. I'm, you know I ain't with that. Yeah, but you can't go around mm -hmm. sleeping with the people that pay you the dollars. You know why? I, I, I understand that as well. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 get, we gotta. I, I, I'm not mad at you, but we got to stop this. And I'm not saying just you, but we got to stop this foolishness of just acting like he, he did it by himself. Or no, you know, he, or he, it took two, he, was, but, he was Brett Favre sending bad pictures or something like, nah, cut that out, man. Yeah, no, it took two, but you know, just don't, just don't bother anybody in no more front offices. How about that, E May? Just, um, just stay out of the front office, man. Listen, you know I'm, what I mean? I'm with you, but especially when you got Nia well, Long, wait, wait, bro. Come on, man. Okay, okay, try okay, to get Nia Long for okay, decades, okay. bro. I, I get on, all man. that, but we listen, listen how you say it. Stay out of the front office, bro. Why are we not saying, hey, shorty, stay out of the locker room? Right. We're not going to get in that, Bruce. Because All right. I made a joke. Jesus Christ, it's going way over your head. Let the oh, fucking plane okay, land. Okay, okay. Right, Let it bad. land. Let it land so I can move on to my take. All right. God. Okay, I'm, man, listen, I get real. I don't like, I don't Dude, like what's up? it. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. Exactly, Steve. Exactly. That man mm -hmm. took my joke and got real <laughs> deal holy feel into the conversation. You know, he made. <laughs> Man, you got hey man, calm down, man. Get off e email helmet. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I take the joke back. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't even man. But I you, uh, you're gonna talk offline because you don't move even it, understand move why that thing upset. No, no, so. no. But no, I, I I do understand you. Doesn't yeah. neg negate my joke. You let my joke I, land. Like let it just I apologize, man. I'm sorry, man. It just <laughs> it, it touched the nerve, man. Really boy, did. clearly, boy, you know, your shoulders, it did this again. <laughs> you started doing that again. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. But no, but no, uh, I do like Houston. They're a very, very young, young, scrappy team. Uh, we give Dylan Brooks a lot of crap, but 
his grittiness kind of is, mm-hmm, is a good mm-hmm. mix for that young yeah. squad. Uh, I, I think he really likes that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he loves that, honestly. Yeah. Um, if you look at how they play, especially at the end of the end of the season, you know, the yeah. toughness, oh. that that yeah. extra like stuff you don't see on a stat sheet yeah. type of play, you know, you get that from Dylan Brooks. So I think that definitely helps him out yes. a lot. Um, and that's in the West. As far as the East, I mean, the best sleeper team ever in the Eastern Conference is the Miami Heat. <laughs> I mean, every, I mean, every, every season you're like, hey, yeah. man, Miami, yeah, Miami ain't like, but then them playoffs turn on, but Miami a problem. Yeah, <laughs> they start dethroning a lot of a lot of big teams. You're like, damn, man, this is a lot closer series than yeah. I thought. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So Eric Spoelstra, what he does over there, Jimmy Butler, one of the That's toughest coach, players man. in the NBA. Uh, you know, you got Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero. Mm-hmm. You know those guys over there. Them folks are always Hawk- in the mix, huh? Jaime Hawkins Jr. Yep. Mm, Hawk- yeah. I mean, bro, I mean, you you could name them. Like you, you mm. could just name them. But that team, like, like when it's when the lights get bright, those guys get tough. They get gritty. They get Walker. in your face. They they you know, you see big games from Jimmy Butler. Next game is Tyler Hero. Next game is Bam with a 20 and 15 in the clutch. Like Steve, bro, I, I I just can't say enough about how uh Spagnolia, uh, Spagnola, uh Steve Spolstra. Um Eric Spolstra. <laughs> Eric Spolstra, man, I want to say you right now. <laughs> Spags well, you, on my brain. You, you already, man, you thinking about that San Francisco Kansas City game, man. <laughs> you know, my, my hey, I got on NBA gear, but my mind oh, and heart is God. on football. NBA season ain't started yet, but Not um, true. but yeah, man, Eric Spolstra, man, it's just something about him and that Miami Heat team that they're always a sleeper and they're always going to be a problem. Um, other than that. I have mm-hmm. um, the Indiana Pacers. I do like uh, what they have. Tyrese Halliburton, Pascal Siaka, Miles Turner. I do like them yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. As, a, as another threat out there. Um, they showed a good run last year. I believe they ran into the Knicks and lost. Oh, no, no, they ran into the Pacers. They got beat by the Pacers. Right? I mean, the Boston Boston Celtics. Did the Celtics put them out last year? Yes, in the first Who's... round, I believe. Yes. No, no, they made it past that. Who's that, Indiana? Yeah, Indiana. Oh, oh, my, oh Indiana. I thought you were still talking about Miami. I apologize. Even they beat Indiana in the conference finals. Yeah, the conference finals. So yeah, yeah. So they they made a nice little run in the conference finals. Um, I mean, granted, you know, a lot of a lot of injuries to a lot of other teams. Um, you know, kind of paved that way for them. But still, they showed some tough and grittiness. Um, to get up there. So I got uh got those two as my my teams in the East, man. Miami Heat, the Indiana Pacers, and then the San Antonio Spurs and the Houston Rockets in the East, the West. Excuse me. Loud ass keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> got quite a. <laughs> you got the Twitter fingers going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's like, uh, no, I got to respond to this. Come on, man. Yeah, and I was uh, re- uh, responding to Steve. What you say about my Celtic? Oh, man, I do like Orlando. I'm sorry. I, no. Another sleeper. I do like Orlando as well. Orlando was uh, shockingly good last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. a better, a whole lot better than expected. Orlando yeah. is is being slept on, man. So yeah, yeah, big big shout out to Orlando over there. Yeah, I, I, I they just the, Wagner. Yeah, three teams in the East: that Indiana Pacers team, that Cleveland team, and also Orlando. You know what I mean? They they can end up anywhere, man, in in that yeah. space top five potentially mm-hmm. you know I mean? with the parity in the East. So that's definitely definitely good teams, good young teams. Atlanta though, why Atlanta? Well, why'd you why'd you say Atlanta? Who, you said Atlanta was your sleeper. Atlanta. Yeah, just because I don't know, and they didn't. I think somebody asked in the in the. That's in, all I needed. Yeah. Who did they pick up after letting go of Dejounte Murray? That's why I dropped him. I dropped him down to twelfth in the East this, um, when I when I did the, my prediction show, and on my still presently, and I don't know. That's the thing. It's like looking at them in the preseason. I still I don't I don't know. You know what I mean? But I but it's yeah. almost like they're like Miami, where you cannot count them out because they still somehow seem to figure it out somehow. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Again, because I don't know, I'm saying that's why I put them in a the sleeper space to be like, got it, got it, got I, it, got it. Out that they do something big, it's like, damn, okay, I was wrong about them. You know what I mean? But I got you. And I don't know who they picked up after Dejounte Murray. I don't know who they picked up I, anybody. I don't think they did. I think they got some picks. Yeah, I don't know who the Hawks. Yeah, I think they got picks for him, didn't they? But Dejounte. Oh, uh, conversely, wait. So conversely, with that Dejounte Murray thing, is we talking about sleepers? Let's go back to the to the Western Conference. Because New Orleans, man, yeah. Dante Murray, 
Yeah. But, the, but their biggest New problem Orleans. is Zion, man. I can't figure it out. Zion. There's something about New Orleans I just don't trust, I don't believe in. Zion's health. But there you go. That. He's lost a lot of weight this offseason. I think he's going to be okay. Come it's on, not come that. On, trainer. Come on, personal trainer. You what, see what, how what it happened? looks right now? Pause. No diddy. But you see how spilled and, and buff <laughs> and cut. He's looking yeah, good. No, he, he I is, mean, but that's after you already was staying all these injuries, man. We can get all the muscle to cover up mm -hmm. whatever we want. But if we that's already cool. been through these injuries, bro, I'm thinking that scar tissue and all that stuff still there, yeah. big dog. It, it don't, <laughs> it's still there. You recover, but it's never like new. It's That's never like new, man. It's not like yeah. it starts over. He's That's still young. Come on, he's still a, yeah. he's still a baby, man. He's still twenty two. That kid is young, so he, yeah. You know what I mean? His recovery still he's still in a good range of recovering and still being cool. So yeah. um, I think I think that him slimming down a lot the way that he has coming into the season, man, is going to be good yeah. for him. You know what I mean? His and his durability for the season. I expect that, um, especially given the run that they made through the playoffs last season. Had he not. Soft tissue injury, like I said, you know what I mean? The True. hamstring thing against us. Series. If it wasn't for that, they would have beat y'all in that series. You they would have. Negative. In the play Yes, they would have. He had put Negative. that back. Young Zion had 40 on y'all, and it was two minutes to go, and he had just got an and one, and then jogged off the course. I didn't even understand where he was going. I mm -hmm. thought he was jumping tape. I was like, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, I remember that. He didn't limp off. He ran off. Mm -hmm. I said, I know that he limped off, but then I had to remember. I said, wait a minute, no. He he ran he ran to the locker room full mm -hmm. speed full sprint so yeah, I was ran out of gas too I was shocked when they said hamstring there you go he didn't look like he was harboring an injury at all you know so that notwithstanding obviously it's hypothetical at this point right that whether or not they would have won mm -hmm. or lost but I think that that showed them something through him something through disappointment where that's why he he got himself into shape to be like nah bro mm -hmm. I, I like the way that being able to 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 put it together and to almost win. So um, I think we'll see a much improved New Orleans Hornets team this year. I have them finishing in the top five in the um in the Western Conference this year. Honestly, number five. Possible. Like I said, boy, three through four, 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 four through eight. It's all open. It's open for yeah. business, man. It's open for business. Question. You you guys mentioned the Hawks, and I don't I don't think they're a sleeper. I think they're out of bounds. Do you think they're just holding on to Trey Young just for the you know the entertainment value? Because he puts up big numbers, but they're empty calories. They're not going to get you anywhere. Do you think they're just holding on to him for the entertainment value? I think they're holding on to they hear a trade that's worth talking to. Yeah, yeah. Who's, I think he's really going to trade something major for Trey Young, though. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean he'll 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 be gone probably if they can't. Again, that's why I have him in sleeper space because I I have them essentially at twelve, so they're out of bounds for me too, right? Mm -hmm. But sleeper because again, I just don't know what that roster is going to look like when they put them all together on the court this year. They might look actually like I project number 12. And if that's mm -hmm. the case, then by trade deadline, Trey's gone. You know what I mean? Right, He's gone. Right. They got to for some pieces, for some draft picks. Mm -hmm. He's a trade piece at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So who can afford him? Who can package something together to help them facilitate a move? That's going to be the, the, the major issue. But mm -hmm. I don't see the team blowing their team up to get him. So he might end up just going to some some mediocre, you know what I mean, organization, man, that he can't really, really affect powerful change in terms of playoff standings and championship contention. But we'll mm -hmm. see. People remain to be seen. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at it and I'm like 26 and 11 and it like doesn't mean anything. Those are pretty numbers, but it's like, OK, right. you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't see it. I don't um, think they got a roster either. I mean, you got yeah. Trey Young, you got Bogdanovich. That's like my second favorite player on that team. Mm -hmm. uh, Bogdanovich, crazy in the Olympics, boy. Oh boy, he gave us a run Ooh. for the money until he started doing that three to the dome and Melo. Yeah, had to you should like, chill with that. Yo, <laughs> light it up. <laughs> he on the call, light him up. <laughs> yeah, for real. Finish him. Finish him. <laughs> Steph said, "I got you, big dog." Yeah. Let me show him how it's really done. Start raining them bitches from West Coast, boy. All yeah, the way yeah, to for sure. <laughs> all for way sure. Bears. True. All right, gentlemen, we uh we done with our sleepers. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go ahead and finish it up before we open the phone lines with the out of bounds, the teams that aren't going to do anything. And Man. I know one for sure is those damn wizards. You got the wizards. <laughs> Why are you so disrespectful with the Wizards? Why they they got the biggest logo up there, bro? Why you size them down some, bro? <laughs> man, it just it just happened that way, man. <laughs> nah, they just suck. I mean, played and simple. They're just bad. They've been bad and they'll continue to be bad. They suck. 
I mean, there's no way around that. There's yeah, no I, way around that. Organization you, curse you. or something. Hey, why he got the logo so big? Why it's so large? <laughs> I don't even know, man. I, I want to let y'all know who my who my out of bounds player team. Is. Hey, bro, tell me Yo. you hate the Wizards without telling me you hate the Wizards. You know? Nah, I really don't. I, I really don't. I'm just sick of Brandon talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, in all seriousness, man, they're bad. Um, yeah. the Wizards Southern. are out of bounds. Uh, the Nets are going to be out of bounds. Uh, um, those are and the uh, Pistons are going to be out of keep bounds. Keep them Pistons. Yeah, uh, you, uh, Pistons, Charlotte, Nets, and 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 uh, Toronto. And I mean, yeah. we can name a quite a, quite a few, <clears throat> quite a few of them, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, Portland, mm -hmm. uh, Portland. Chicago. You say I think you said uh, Chicago, right? Yeah. And I, I initially had Spurs and out of bounds, and then after we talked earlier, transformer, I ended up moving them to sleepers. Um, yeah, I thought so, they could be a playing yes. team. For, yeah, for so it was they shouldn't be on this out of bounds thumbnail, but um, well, my biggest out of bounds team. The Clippers. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, man. Especially that's with no Kawhi what, right now. Um, Kawhi nah, might not. Man, he might not play. Bro, I had to his, his knee is already hemmed up. I'm like, good God, this really? dude hurts. I was playing this season before the Kawhi announcement. Before he was mm -hmm. even the USA team, I just know that Paul George was such a huge part of their offense, mm -hmm. throwing up their weaknesses and showing up the, the fact that Kawhi wasn't playing full strength. Yeah. Like, that um man, once you lose Paul George, that's it. You know what that's I mean? It's it. like, oh, you got. You know what I mean? Now you're just relying on Terrence Man, and mm -hmm. he's got four points, and it's like, and to get you wins, and that's just they they're out of bounds, bro. Beautiful new building, beautiful new facility, but out of bounds, bro. That's and it. nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's just yeah. that that's so tough, man. Like I said, I, I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna do. That's just, oof. Terrence, well, got they're in a bad spot. Uh, how much they paying him again? A lot, a lot. Ah. Yeah. Um, you know, forty nine four, million what, dollars. What was the uh? What was the stat I sent you earlier? He's missed 40, 46 percent. Forty six percent regular of his, season yeah. game since twenty seventeen. Wow, that's terrible. That's awful, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think he but played yeah, like King of L A. Games with um. With the Raptors and led them to the title. If not for that, that number would be even worse. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the slander for him would be a lot higher too. You know what I mean? But thankfully, he was able to to win one in Toronto. Yeah. I said it in my last video that uh, had it not been for you know championships are valued in a certain way. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Had it not been Very for that true. San Antonio win and then to, going to Toronto and winning one for right. them, maybe right. that's all over the the, the media spaces. Mm -hmm. you know, but. That has some value. Unfortunately, it's unfortunate for him that he just he just can't put it together, man. Health boxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it is what it is. But yeah, I got yeah. Washington, Brook, my, my my Brooklyn team. I got them out of bounds. Detroit. Detroit's got a nice young core group of, of folks, but they are like I said about the the um, San Antonio team, where they're just super young. You know what I mean? So it's going to take them some, another season or two. But um, but they got some great young talent. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, talent. They'll be coming. Portland, of course, has a great young core as well. But they're so young that I think it's going to take them a season or two to, to figure yeah. it out. Yeah, Utah's on the fence. They they on the bubble of um just falling all the way off again. You know what I mean? Laurie Marketing is out there, super good player. But I think because they could not move him in the off season, they're probably just holding on to him. Likewise, he'll probably be a part of that Trey Young multiple team situation. Mm. Yeah, Finally, to go to Golden State. Yep. Yeah, According to his own commentary, Laurie Markkinen, he's he's excited about what Utah or what he thinks they are capable of doing. I just I don't see it, man, but that's um he he's a good basketball player, very yeah, good basketball player. He's, he's from good. Finland, right? I'm not he's sure. From somewhere over yonder. Yeah, he's from Scandinavia. This I know. Um, he's but from yeah. somewhere over yonder. I want yeah, to tell yeah. Steve, man. I know it's wild because Kawhi was the best two-way player in the league. Once upon a what one of the best or best. Think about Grant Hill, bro. Body just couldn't stand. No, no, up. no, no, no. He, no, I don't think he's saying. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's a great analogy, though. Yeah, so, Grant Hill, like body just couldn't stand up anymore, man. And sometimes you got to call it. You got to know when to hold him and know when to fold him. But if you pay me forty something million a year, I'm gonna keep holding him. Yeah, that's terrible. Hey, I'm see, what I'm talking about, man. Some of these owners, man. Anyway, 
You know what? They need to look at the Zion Williamson contract, right? I think now what we're seeing from Kawhi Leonard, right? And now Joel Embiid, the way he's talking. Mm-hmm. Y'all, they need to really start putting health in these contracts. Like yeah, the injury man. history, it has nope. to play a part of it. 46% mm-hmm. of the games, and I'm about to give you a max contract twice? Because he got one. He got mm-hmm. two, two max deals after that. 46%, G? I'm putting that in your contract. Like, bro, if you can't play more than 46% of these games, oh, I'm cutting that di- I'm cutting that money in half, bro. And I think that'll force Embiid to suck that shit up. Like, bro, you better play them fucking back to backs. Yeah. You getting y'all get all this money these you dollars getting, because you of the fandom. Money. Stop it. Yeah. The fandom, the networks, the show. That's what Look, y'all get paid for, bro. For, and y'all don't want to play in the games, dude. Forget the fandom. I'm the owner and I'm paying you all this money. Get out there and play for me. <laughs> Forget okay. the fandom. Man, I'm gonna cut these chicks out here. Don't waste my money. money. Crazy. Billionaires get too much money. Fuck them billionaires. Let me hold, let me borrow a million. I'm jealous. I'm sorry, man. That's uh, just my jealousy talking. Oh, okay. What, whatever works. <laughs> but no, man. I yeah. I mean, billionaires. I mean, they got to come to the next CBA, boy. That's gonna be crucial. They're probably gonna look at that Zion Williamson contract. It's like, ooh, they put that stipulation in there. Like, All right, Kawhi. All right, uh, Joel and B. Y'all want to make these these conversations? Like, all right, y'all want the max deal? We want to see maximum effort on you taking care of your body. Maximum effort on wanting to play these back to backs because if not, if you don't want to play back to backs, cool. That's five million right there. We're just gonna take it out your check. Right. You was paying, you was getting paid for 51 million. Now you're gonna get paid 46 mm-hmm. million this year since you don't want to pay back to backs because now you want to take time off. I need money back, bro. I need money back, right? So I think, I think, I think it should be key. They should definitely take a look at that Zion Wilson contract. Yeah, man, this, this whole thing is just, oh, uh, I, I. I do not like it, Sam. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like it, Sam. I am. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's it's just bad, man. And I don't I don't know. Obviously, some guys are more durable than others, man. But this this whole today's athletes are so much. Yeah, okay, miss me with that. Nah, I'm not buying it. Y'all got everything today's athletes, but you can't do what yesteryear's athletes could do. Nah, miss me with that. You got everything but the desire to actually play the game, bro. Mm-hmm. The heart, the will to want to keep going. Yeah, you, yeah. My, my high school coach, Doc Robinson, rest in peace to Doc. Doc used to say, it's all about desire. <laughs> you got to have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to have the one, too. got to have desire, man. That was Edward Jackson, desire. what did Stephen A say? Put it in the chat. I, th- I, think he, I think he got on Kawhi. Um, or not got on him. I think he was saying, like, basically a similar thing to what we were saying. Um Yeah, I wonder what he said. Alonzo Ball, former Lakers back. Hey, he hey, he sparked it up from three the moment he got back in the game. He'd been sparked. And you look at his foot, like you look at his form from when we first drafted him. What was it, 2018? Maybe? How long ago did we draft Lonzo? I think it was like 2018, somewhere around there. It was a while um, ago. 18 when I got out there. 18. Yeah. So, so like to look at where his jumper used to come from left to right yeah. and where he just able to pull that joint up straight. Yeah, he it did, looks yeah, it he looks did so that. clean. Yeah, he did really a lot clean. of work on that, and, and that's yeah, that's respect so too, clean. man. I was anticipating Lonzo coming back, man. That's why I have them. Um, I have them actually making a play in this season. I think that's going to be a very inspired comeback for that team. I think he's going to add you Chicago know, that they need in, in the offensive pack that they need to to get them at least in the play in that nine ten somewhere in the nine ten. But you don't so, you don't think they still trade Zach? Nah, nah. Nobody wants him. True. Nobody wants him, bro. It's been, it's been tough to get off that deal, and the fact that he can't stay relatively healthy either. No, no. That's been that's been really really tough for him. No. I want to see. I'm I'm I need to see that Lloyd marketing trade, man. That right now, that's a big that's a big piece, a big domino to fall in the NBA in the West. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting to see where that right goes. now. It's supposed to be Golden I'm State. That one. That's going to tip the scales for sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, well, yeah. That's- that- uh, that's the out of bounds, man. That's it. I think that's all we got. We touched everybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what we got. So what we what we'll do now? I'm gonna put it in the chat in case anybody's been waiting. Two one nine eight two six four. I'm gonna go ahead and put the number in the chat nine zero four two one nine eight two six four nine zero four two one nine eight two six four. You can go ahead, uh, call us and 
not Edward Jackson. G's not a Wizard fan. I don't think. Um, uh, Brandon Bryce, he was in the chat earlier. He's a he's a big Wizard fan. Drive me crazy. But but anyway, um, y'all can call in and give your thoughts on any of these topics. Beast from the East, best of the West, sleepers, out of bounds. Who you know? What team you think we may have missed? What team you're looking forward to seeing? And kind of what you think um, about any of the stuff we discussed tonight? You know, who you think might re- um, be the be the champion at the end of the year? What do you think are the Celtics' chances? What do you think are LeBron and the Lakers' chances? Um, yeah, just give us a call, 904-219-8264. And it's scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Let's get it. Let's talk. What? I still can't believe the NBA is starting on Tuesday. This is going to be crazy. I don't know how we're going to cover all this. <laughs> got NBA, got college football, got NFL, got boxing. Crazy. Good thing we don't yep. do baseball and freaking hockey. That would be. Bro, yeah. these 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 uh these Laker games are gonna be rough. Quick side note you know, on we hockey. come on at ten. I know, right? <laughs> Quick side note on hockey. I did not realize until the other day, and I should have. Alex Ovechkin, if he stays healthy, will probably break the all-time goal scored record by set by wow. Wayne Gretzky this season. Really? Uh, yeah, I think it's eight ninety two. And I think he's like 42 goals away from breaking that. I didn't. I never thought anybody would get that. He's been a puck wow. since he walked in the league, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grade eight, God. problem. Absolutely. All right, bro. Yeah. That's yeah, going to yeah. be dope. Yeah, uh, that's one of those that I, I, I never thought that I would see that. Not that I'm a big hockey guy, but I just – I never thought that I would see that. It's funny. Um, I always – like, if you go back to, I think, my very first podcast – one of the things I, I did a little segment and I made the argument that Wayne Gretzky was better at hockey than Michael Jordan was at basketball, because you won't hear any argument about who's the best hockey player of all time. You hear argument about who's the best basketball player. And like the things Wayne Gretzky did was like just so far out of reach for like every other play is it's almost like he's the wilt of hockey. Statistically, it's crazy how good that dude was. So, um, yeah, but hockey, like all the other sports, I think they also made rules changes to um to boost the offense as well. Mm. So it's kind of like, damn, like are there any sports that we can truly and fairly compare across the eras? But I don't I don't think there's any left because nah. the rules have changed in all of them. So it's like a- as great as that accomplishment is going to be, I'm pretty sure if you talk to like some of the hockey old timers or uh, you know the aficionados who are really well versed in the sport. They're going to tell you that as great an accomplishment as that is, you will <laughs> ping pong. You will you will hear some of them tennis. say, yeah, but, you know, yeah, tennis, that's, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, tennis, yeah. They yeah, I think you really do like, much of that. That's one on one. No, right there. no, I don't think so. Um, Edward Jackson, I hate I can't call him Bruce, but I know you say no, nah, I don't watch baseball. I know Aaron Judge hit 62 homers this year. Crazy. Um, do you think the home run will record will be broken? What is it? Seventy six now? Is that Barry Bonds? Is seventy six? What in a season or like total? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, is yeah. Edward? Are you talking about um, all time or are you talking about all time. in a season? I think he's got both. I think he's got like seventy six in a season, and I want to say like seven fifty six or seven sixty five for a career. Um, yeah. All time? Who? I don't know. So, Steve, I'm not going to debate baseball because I'm not well-versed in the sport. I'm not going to say he's the GOAT. I'm not going to say he's not. My only issue is, like, we know he juiced up. So it's like, eh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I knew, he, I knew he had both. I knew he had both. Um, yeah, we, we know he juiced up. So it's kind of like that one is tough for me, how, how we evaluate that. But, you know, I'll leave that to the baseball people. But um, <laughs> Leave that to the baseball people. Like his yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I add something to baseball people? Absolutely. Go ahead, Q. I think I think that um it wouldn't be such a big deal, man, if they just told us that players were using PEDs. Mm-hmm. Such a big deal. Then I, I don't think I would be so critical of, you know what I mean, like knowing that somebody had superhuman ability if mm-hmm. they just that everybody was taking them. And it's like, yeah, okay, cool. I might can get behind being like, damn, taking the juice made them do that. Then, the, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, popping a couple pills or taking a shot made this joke mm-hmm. around or jump that high like let me see how high they can go you know what i mean i, I could probably get behind it but I mean, I hide it you know what i mean and it's like don't tip the scales that way and not tell us you know what i mean so i respect yeah. it. oh it's just tell us you know what i mean don't don't mm-hmm. don't lie 
but watching uh watching the home run waste um, Maguire and uh, Sammy Sosa back in the day was crazy. You know I remember I mean? that. That was 1998. I definitely remember that. Bro, I used to come home from work, and I'm again, I'm not a baseball guy, but I used to immediately turn on ESPN to see if like the numbers changed while I was at work. They had yeah, me yeah. Had I four that. games because I wanted to see it, and it's just mm. that a, a, a decent batting average. And I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge baseball guy either, but I know. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could be thought of as a great baseball player with like a 250 average, batting average. Or Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? To watch a batter step up and knock a home run out the park almost every time up was absurd. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. the locked in. Whole time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Whole time. Sauce gods. Hey, Bruce, why, <laughs> do, why do you call him um, allegations? Didn't he get caught or did he, yeah, did he, he, um, a, he, did he pop? Popped. Yeah, if he popped, those aren't allegations. Like that means he did that. Interesting. Um, still was that much better than everyone. Yeah, I, I remember hearing that he was really great, even when he was young with the Pirates, and he was um, I'm not gonna say skinny, but not not diesel bonds with the Giants. But um when he was young with the Pirates, he was still supposed to be very good. I think he was in, you know, 35, 40 home runs in a year. Um, but then later on he starts hitting 70 some. Okay, there you go. 73 right. record. Okay. And 762. That was close. What was I, that you? I said Griffey was Griffey was mm-hmm. he, you know, he was knocking joints out there too. So it's a I think the big question for Bonds would be when did he start using? You know what I mean? So right. that's why people don't really give him the respect. Um despite and, records, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. again, I mean, what can you do, man, if everybody's juicing to somebody's comment to the point of some, that somebody made in the chat, man? If everybody's doing it, it's never been a clean era, mm-hmm. you know, or, or in sports in general, then you can't penalize everybody or anybody for doing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Either you allow everybody to do it or you, you tell us that this is what they're doing so that we understand it, so nobody can be critical about it, or you just snatch all these dudes' so, records. You don't do it retroactively and, and make somebody look bad mm-hmm. when everybody's doing it, but just because they weren't caught, it's, you know what I mean? It's not being yeah. talked about. No, that's not cool. I think I think the only problem with that is, and that makes a lot of sense. The only problem is, even if you say okay, it's legal in the sport, that still doesn't mean everybody's going to do it, right? So you have yeah, no, some you people that are performing like that. at a disadvantage. So it's like eh, but at the end of the day, you you still you still have to hit the ball, which apparently is a very difficult thing to do. <laughs> but, very hard. Yeah, but some people will say, okay, <laughs> that might have been a base hit. Now you're knocking it out the park because you know you juiced up. So I don't know. I really, yeah, I really don't care that much about baseball to be <laughs> spending this much time discussing it. Fun right. to play, born to watch. Neither basketball. You know what I mean? To begin with, I don't have the mechanics and I don't have the, you know what I mean? The depth perception and the mm-hmm. skills would it matter? You know what I mean? It's like he's taking all the PEDs in the world, but he can't. Yeah. He just don't. Feel. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, who cares? Right. You know. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. All right, well, it looks like we're not going to uh, get any um, calls on this. Maybe we should open up the phone lines after each segment. But, um, okay, so, look, y'all, appreciate everybody who uh, hung in there with us. Um, this has been our our NBA, uh, what do we call this thing? Pick our off. NBA season preview. Season preview. There you go. You know what's funny? Hey, real quick, before we get out of here, do y'all want to go ahead and um, – just for just for uh, craps and giggles, who you think is going to win the championship? <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. I mean, yeah, man. I have no idea. Nah, I think we, it's wide open this year, more yeah, so we, than we've seen in a long time. Yeah, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see, but I, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm excited to see it because I think that the parity in the league across the board, man, across both conferences, incredible. Um, yeah, I think something happened with uh with Transformers camera, man. He, he just zoomed. I think so too, man. He's going crazy, like something uh, happening to his. No, nah, man, to... Fly was in here. <laughs> I know he ain't trying to delete <laughs> it at all this year. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Mm-mm. Dalton Connect for MVP. <laughs> Dalton Connect for MVP, oh baby. <laughs> LeBron James for comeback player of the year. <laughs> hey, didn't didn't Bronny have like five tonight? He's he's turning a corner, y'all. I don't know, man. I mean, we ain't, nah. there ain't nobody playing tonight. Oh my goodness, nah, nah. You know what, man? In all seriousness, team. in all seriousness, that young actually, man he's got thirteen. By the way, he's actually six. Oh, he's got 12. thirteen. Okay, yeah, he's okay. got thirteen. Thirteen, four and one. Uh, okay. But they're getting cooked and, though. 
You know what's funny though? I would yeah, they are, but he he needs this game desperately for his confidence, just just yeah. to to See play well against in. other NFL play. Yeah, man. NFL, yeah. NBA players. Um Your mind is yeah. Only, yeah. It, it is, it is. And the funny thing, I was literally just about to say, like in all seriousness, you know, I'm hoping at some point like the kid plays well and, and has an opportunity to just <laughs> Steve, Steve is an idiot. <laughs> I was about to do that too. Oh my the god, is in the Steve title. is an idiot. Lamar Jackson for NBA MVP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic. That's a that's a good one, Steve. I love it. He I isn't wrong. It. He is not he is wrong. Not though. Wrong he is not all. wrong, man. I like that's I like this fantastic. answer right here, though. Screenshot that Laker Nation. That's a good answer right there. You know, that's, great, that's, very nah, great that's answer. Not what right there, um, right. Okay, that said, back to Bronny though. Uh I'm seriously I'm happy for the kid that he, he had a this is the type of game he really needed. Now, does yeah. this mean he's gonna become Michael Jordan? Of course not, but he really needed this just to say, like, okay, I'm okay. I took a deep breath. This has been my best performance so far as a pro. This is something to build on, and that's good for the young fella. So I'm not mad at that at all, man. Yeah. Sometimes you need to see the ball go in, right? Yeah. Like you need yeah. to have that one game, like, all right, damn it. All right, it's there right. it is. I know I yes. can do it, right? You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So, like, some some players are different. You know, let's mm -hmm. not forget. I mean, it could have really. I mean, he really should have went undrafted, but it's still a fifty-fifth yeah. pick. Like, yeah. like the expectations are just a little too high right now. Mm -hmm. You know, like get a man, get a kid a little time, man. You know, it's gonna I don't even think the expectations are too high because everybody knows he shouldn't be there. But yeah. like, I don't know if anybody thought it would have been that bad. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but no, this this is good, man. This is good. Even though to your point, they're getting blown out. He still needed this. So yeah, no, Good absolutely. He's the second leading scorer on the team right now. 13, yeah, yeah, yeah. four Good rebounds, an assist, a block, mm -hmm. a steal, just one turnover. I mean, it's a good, right. it's a pretty good game. I mean, you 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 need, like you said, man, you just need those type of games. You need to see the you ball do. go in. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, man. Good for him. Good for him. And I mean that. I'm not even trying to be funny. Um, yeah, all right. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna leave it right here. Uh, so none of us have any idea who's going to win the freaking NBA championship this year. No, I would it's up in the air, bro. Again, but I have no idea. Um, I suppose they got to be the favorite, but I don't anticipate a repeat. If I'm honest, I, re I really don't know. All right, we're back Bruce, to that era of basketball to where there's that, no Bruce. clear cut, like one or two teams was like, bro, it's going through them. Mm -hmm, like it's, mm -hmm. it's really a lot of, a lot more parody. And from the top to bottom, like we saw, like in the Western Conference alone, like you know, you're you're battling and clawing to get the three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you like nine, ten. The play in is gonna be like, yo, <laughs> we're mm -hmm. forty five win team, and we in the play in. Last year, the Lakers, we were forty seven win team. We fighting to get into the freaking eight seed, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's really a lot of parity in these uh in both conferences, man. But mm -hmm. honestly, it's gonna be who's healthy, who's not in the East. Um, and in in the West, the depth. I think the depth depth in the, uh, of who's in the West going to come out. Like depth is going to play a big part in who's coming out of the Western Conference. No doubt, no doubt. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll we'll leave it right here. Q, man, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for sharing um, your thoughts on, on the NBA and, and what it's going to look like. It looks. Um, oh, okay. All right, Austin, Steve. Everyone's in six. All right, all right. That's good. I don't I don't like the end result, but we'll see. We'll see. Of course you don't. I love it. I know you do. Denver v. Goddamn <laughs> Skippy. Say again. He said Denver v. Boston. Denver. In yeah, six. he said Denver versus Boston and Denver wins in six. That's uh all right. Well, we'll find out. Good. We'll find out. But yeah, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for listening to what we had to say, listening to us quote unquote bloviate about the NBA and the, this upcoming season. Uh we really enjoyed kicking it here with y'all. So uh we're going to see you next time, man. Uh...